On August 8, a Chinese company called Shanghai Microelectronics Equipment held a ceremony for the delivery of its 500th stepper lithography machine. Now, this isn't just a milestone for the company. It's a signal, a signal that China's high-end semiconductor equipment industry is entering a new era. You might be thinking, the 500th machine? That doesn't sound like a lot. But by the end of this video, you'll understand the immense weight behind this number. In a world where Western tech hegemony is constantly exerting pressure, and the US is shamelessly slapping 100% chip tariffs on countries around the globe, including its own allies, the significance of this figure is deafeningly loud. For the longest time, Western nations, especially the United States, have seen themselves as the absolute masters of global technology. They held a tight grip on the most critical chip-making technologies, like the EUV lithography machines from ASML in the Netherlands, which they used as a killer weapon to keep a chokehold on other nations. Through technological monopoly and export controls, they arrogantly believed they could dictate the developmental fate of any country, especially a rising tech power like China. They even reveled in this, using it as the foundation for their tech containment strategy and their delusional dream of decoupling. This hegemonic mindset, built on technological superiority, was deeply entrenched and had left many developing nations in despair. They dreamed that by using a tech blockade and severing supply chains, they could completely exclude China from high-end competition, thereby securing their own absolute dominance for the future. But reality is often harsher than imagination, and for those lost in a hegemonic dream, it can be almost comical. As we discuss China's progress in lithography, another news story is exposing the absurdity and destructiveness of America's trade policy. Recently, the Trump administration has wielded its stunning tariff hammer against multiple countries, including its most loyal allies. They hit India with 50% tariffs on its goods, a bitter pill for a country that prides itself on being a special partner to the US. Even more shockingly, they are threatening to impose a devastating 100% tariff on imported semiconductor products. The joke is, the first country to get slammed by this 100% tariff was none other than the Philippines, a US ally. According to the Philippine Statistics Authority, in 2024, the country's semiconductor and electronics exports hit a massive $39.09 billion, accounting for 53.4% of its total exports. And the U.S. is one of its most important markets. This kind of precision strike is like treating an ally as a lamb for the slaughter. The Philippine industry is in an uproar. The president of their semiconductor association called it a devastating blow, while the head of their chamber of commerce cited WDO rules, condemning the move as a blatant violation. But what was the result? Under the banner of America First, all rules become meaningless, and all alliances become tools to be sacrificed at a moment's notice. This indiscriminate attack not only alienates allies, but also exposes America's selfish nature of enriching itself at its neighbor's expense. It makes it crystal clear to the world that in Washington's eyes, there are no permanent allies, only permanent interests, and smaller nations are always the collateral damage in the great geopolitical game. And yet, under this dual pressure of Western tech hegemony and trade bullying, China's tech industry has been quietly and resiliently finding its own path to a breakthrough. You might not know this, but in another critical segment of the semiconductor industry, advanced packaging, Chinese companies have silently become hidden champions. You could even say they are using their own strength to quietly but powerfully crush Western tech hegemony. So who is this Amy's? The company was founded in February 2025, a startup in the semiconductor space, but it's actually a spin-off from the well-known Shanghai Microelectronics. Its core team is packed with top-tier talent and boasts formidable technical strength. Rumor has it they're preparing for an independent IPO, a sign of their significant ambitions. Their decision to specialize in advanced packaging shows a deep understanding of future semiconductor trends and a recognition that Western tech hegemony is not as unbreakable as it seems. The stepper lithography machine they just delivered is primarily used for advanced packaging. Many of you might not be familiar with this term. To put it simply, chip manufacturing is divided into front-end and back-end. The front end is the extreme challenge of etching transistors inside the chip, where precision is measured in nanometers. The back end is about packaging these chips so they can work together more effectively, which includes interconnection, stacking, and system integration. As Moore's law approaches its physical limits, 
Simply stacking more transistors to boost performance is becoming increasingly difficult. This is where advanced packaging becomes critical. Using 2.5D and 3D technologies, it can dramatically improve chip performance and reduce power consumption. This field is the perfect opportunity for China to overtake on the curve, and a new battlefield where the West did not anticipate China would rise so quickly. Amy's lithography machine is a lethal weapon in the advanced packaging arena. It features high resolution, high overlay accuracy, and an ultra-large exposure field. All core metrics for ensuring the quality and efficiency of chip packaging. Even more impressively, it has powerful warpage and thick resist handling capabilities, which are crucial for processing complex, high-performance chips. These technical advantages allow its products to perfectly adapt to the most cutting-edge advanced packaging technologies, including FlipChip, FanIn, FanOut WLP-PLP, and 2.5D-3D integration, covering nearly all mainstream advanced packaging needs. This isn't just talk. This is real, hard-earned technological muscle. Most critically, on the back of this hardcore capability, its advanced packaging lithography products have captured an astonishing 35% of the global market. And within the domestic Chinese market, that figure is a staggering 90%. This means that a significant portion of the world's high-performance chips may be packaged with the help of its equipment. This data is the ultimate counterattack. While the West is still trying to block China with tech sanctions, attempting to use the monopoly of one or two companies to choke it, China has already established dominance on another battlefield, proving its technological rise with solid data and market share. The delivery of this 500th machine is more than just a number. It represents several incredibly important signals, especially in the current geopolitical landscape. It is, frankly, a massive wake-up call to the smug politicians and technocrats in the West. First, it is a powerful counterblow to Western tech hegemony and a show of contempt for America's tech arrogance. Over the past few years, the U.S. and its allies have tried every trick in the book, including tech blockades and export controls, to halt the development of China's semiconductor industry. They even roped allies into a so-called chip alliance, trying to build an exclusive club that would lock China into the low end of the supply chain. They thought that by controlling ASML's machines, they could bring China's chip industry to a standstill and ensure China could never catch up. But the success of Amy's proves that this hegemonic thinking is short-sighted and ineffective. In a segment they overlooked or assumed they completely controlled, China found its breakthrough and used its own technology to shatter their monopoly. Second, it is a direct challenge to U.S. trade protectionism and a ruthless exposure of the ugly face behind the America First slogan. As we just discussed, the Trump administration is swinging its tariff hammer wildly, hitting allies like India and the Philippines the hardest. Slapping a 100% devastating tariff on the Philippines, a supposed ally whose exports are dominated by semiconductors sold to the U.S., is the definition of treating your friends like disposable assets. This kind of indiscriminate attack exposes America's selfish, beggar-thy-neighbor policy. In this context, the success of Amy's is especially significant. It shows that when a country possesses its own core technology and equipment, when it has a voice in critical parts of the supply chain, it no longer has to fear another country's tariff hammer. It can proudly say that its products succeed not because of another's charity or approval, but on their own merit. This is true security, and it's the most profound irony for America's trade bullying. You can't choke China, but you've ended up battering your own allies. All right, that's all for today. What do you think about this achievement for China's semiconductor industry? How do you believe this will impact the future of the global chip competition? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.